We did end up getting a fair amount of snow here last night. We'll just take a peek outside here. Nate's cleaning up in front of the building. I plowed early this morning in the dark. Didn't get the camera out at all just because you wouldn't have been able to see anything. So Nate's using the 9320. We ended up putting a set of tire chains on the back tires. Oh, here about a month ago. We didn't know maybe we we're gonna be handling manure on icy ground. We've got a set of chains to go on. Oh, I almost slipped there. We've got a set of chains to go on the front axle too. We made them chains up years ago. Uh, I think maybe it was four or five years ago so that we could spread manure. And uh, what they actually are is two, two sets of chains that we ended up having to put together because they don't make tire chains uh, for that big of a tire. That's a 62046 tire. And um, we had to buy two sets, a small set and a slightly larger set to uh, be able to make them up. brothers they're just running out and around with their units they've got my brother's got a plow on his Kubota it's a V plow and my other brother's got a V plow on his Jeep and those are real handy they um, they can move a lot of snow they could probably move more snow with either one of them units than what we can move with the 9320 just because the um, blade is just it's you waste a lot of time with an angled blade you can only you can only wing the, the snow so far and then you have to uh, you have to pick up your streamer with something and um, it's just uh, not too handy the blade that we have for the 9410 has the wings on it that both fold in they That'll scoop quite a bit of snow or carry quite a bit of snow with it as well. Well, that'll give you an idea of what that looks like. We got about eight inches of snow. Milk truck coming in. This is his third load. So far here today, they, um, they're running a little behind, but they're starting to catch up. The plow didn't go by here this morning until about quarter after five. They're dealing with staffing issues. It's a county barn, and um, they're not plowing until later on in the morning or night, whatever you want to call that. All right, we better get back inside here. I can catch cold. Well, we ended up getting a fair amount of snow here in the last storm we got. We've got maybe 10 inches of snow or so. And I just got done moving the vehicles out of the driveway so that Andrew could plow the snow um, in the driveway at my house here. And I thought I'd throw the drone up in the air. And just do a flyover of the farm to just kind of show you what a good old-fashioned winter looks like here at Horgan Family Dairy. Uh, yesterday morning, milk truck had trouble getting here to grab his first load. He's here again now. They were probably two hours late with um, getting to the farm here early yesterday morning just because of the way the roads were here, we'll just do a flyover and um, just kind of show you what things look like all covered in snow. We've got Jacob down, uh, defacing down to this lower bunk here. We'll fly over the top of him and then we'll come back up and around to where Andrew's plowing snow. And then I better get back into the shop. So Jacob's down in the uh, conventional corn bunk defacing there he just got done doing the high moisture corn 
which is right to uh, your right there. We're just flying over the top of it, and he is just getting done with doing uh, the conventional silage. And then he ended up doing, actually he's got a little bit left there. He ended up uh, doing the BMR here a little earlier, and then he was down below uh, doing the uh, haylages. So we'll just kind of get as close as we can to him. Okay, this other bunk, this one bunk wall has got to be just about here. Actually, it's in behind us. Yeah, we're just about over the top of it. Don't want to crash this damn thing. Sticks are a little jumpy on this uh, drone here. So if, re if you recall in the last video, we had to get the uh, frame swapped out on this uh, defacer. And then Sarah ended up welding them two teeth on that right hand side. And I looked here yesterday and they were still on there. And I don't know if we can quite see them here now or not. See if we can get turned around here and maybe get a little closer to him and see if we can't uh, see those teeth on that right hand side of the defacer. I got to back up a ways and then we'll get uh, the sticks are awful jumpy on this drone. It's um. Not the drone that I use all the while here, and I've got the adjustments are slightly off on it here, so I apologize for the jerkiness, but um, we'll try to get a little closer here to see if we can't maybe see those. Because you're not going to believe me unless you see it, right? So we'll get over the top here, get down a little lower. Try to get right over where he's going to be. And if you look right at the right hand side of that defacer, we'll get down a little closer. He's probably going to try to, he's going to try to hit us. I can tell you that. And they're still on there. If you look on that right hand side. Yeah, this drone is a lot jerkier than uh, the other one. So we'll go spy on Andrew quick, and uh, I better get back to work. Okay, I got a phone call, so I had to uh, address that quickly. We'll go over and see how Andrew's making out here. He's got my house driveway plowed. Now he's just out cleaning up over and behind the two barns here. Oh, um, this, this is awful jerky. Yeah, he's over in behind uh, barn four and barn uh, seven. Just kind of cleaning that up a little bit there. So that'll do it for this little segment here. I'll show you the job that he did plowing in front of my house. And then we will land this drone here. Because I got to get back to work. Got to get back to doing something that actually pays the bills. <laughs> Unlike plowing freaking snow. Unless you're in the... Ooh, some birds flew over us there. But, um... The snow really blows in here. Um, right where we park the vehicles. And it is a pain in the butt. It's always nice to wait a couple of days until the snow has settled a little bit. And it's gotten somewhat hard. Because you no more get it cleaned out. Then it all blows in tight again. So, we'll get back over to the shop show you what we got going on with that project on this uh, silage body
Landing.